people of this great nation of uh, the United States, our nation right now is being torn apart. The enemy is tearing us apart. He's winning right now. The churches are being quiet. I am dead serious, church. We need to rise up. We need to rise up, church. And uh, declare. Declare that we need God in America again. Because the truth is, the only one that can actually save this country, it isn't Trump, nor is it Biden. The only one who can save this country is Jesus Christ. We need to cry out right now. Cry out to God to save us. I'm seeing all these so-called peaceful protests when in reality, I'm seeing the act of pure evil as homes and buildings are set ablaze and burned to ashes. I'm seeing people killed more and more, not by the hands of police, but by the hands of each other. I'm seeing a great divide within our nation by race, by religion. We have a motto in this country United we stand and divided we fall. Right now, we are so badly divided. We need God in America again. So church, I urge you, I urge you to stop being silent. Let your voice be heard. Let God's word flow from your lips. Seek God. Seek Jesus. He's the only one that can save this country. He's the only one that can set us free from the enemy's grasp. That is destroying us. Destroying our lives, our jobs, our schools, our family. Right now, we are letting the devil win. Right now, we are letting the devil win because we are remaining silent. Church, right now, more than ever, we need to rise up and declare his name. Rise up and pray together. Rise up. Rise up, church. Rise up. I'm seeing churches being attacked. I saw one video where a church was burned down by these riots, these domestic terrorists. Church, our homeland is under fire. As long as we remain silent, the enemy will win. We need to pray more than ever. Pray for our nation. Pray for our leaders. Pray for the president. Pray for our cities. Pray for our home, 
our jobs, our schools, our neighbors. Church. Be his children. Aren't we not Christians? To be a Christian, we are to be Christ-like. And to be Christ-like is to have Christ live through us. So turn away from your sinful lifestyle, whatever it might be. And let's unite together to cast out this enemy. Because devil, you are not wanted here because our God, our Savior is victorious and your future lies in damnation. Because devil, you've been caught. So let's rise up, church, against the enemy. I'm actually encouraging you. The day before the election. To pray. Get on your knees. Pray. Go to your church. Pray. Go to your state capitol. Pray. Pray for our nation. Pray for our president. Pray for our whoever will be our next president. Pray like your life depends on it. Because in reality, right now, I feel it does. So let's rise up, church, and say no more to this enemy. No more to the devil. No more to this spirit of hatred. This spirit, this disease that is destroying us. The Bible says, where two or more gathered, I am there. So let's gather together in unity. Let's strap on our full armor of God. Let's be battle ready because there's a great spiritual warfare going on in our nation. I'm seeing it in our cities. I'm seeing it in our government. I'm seeing it in our schools. I'm seeing it in our families, in our own home. So church, let our voice be loud. Let our praise be our battle cry. Because the enemy has been caught. And we're not backing down. Because our king is already a victor. Because we already have victory through Jesus Christ. So join me, church. Join me. The day before election. As we gather together. And pray. Pray. with every ounce of our breath, pray. 
non-stop. Pray without ceasing. Like I said, President Trump can't save us. Biden definitely can't save us. The only one is Jesus Christ. Share that video, please. Share it so the whole nation can see it. Share it so your friends, your neighbors, your family, your co-worker, whoever it might be, can see this video. Because enough is enough. There's power in prayer. Let's show it. Because Jesus said, in his name, we will cast out devils. We will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So if you truly believe in God, if you truly consider yourself a Christian, if you truly, truly are living for Christ, and you believe with all your heart, soul, and might, then pray with me. Pray with me. Father God, I pray that this video gets heard. Father God, use this video. Use what I said to help encourage people to call out to you, Father God. Because right now, we need you more than ever, Father God. We need you in this country. Our country is on fire. Our country is being divided. Father God, we need you. We need you in our homes, in our church, in our schools, in our courthouses. Father God, we need you. So use me. Use this video. Father God, let this message be known nationwide, Father God. Only you can save us, not Trump nor Biden. Only you can save us from ourselves, from the enemy, from the devil. Father God, help us now. Give us the strength we need to conquer this enemy. In Jesus' name, I declare this now with all my heart, soul, and might. In Jesus' name, I say, Amen. Please, I urge you, share this message. And thank you for watching this video. And God bless you.